it uh, agrees basically with the premise that education for black people is the paramount problem. Uh, education as well as defense. Uh, as Malcolm X once said, say, brother, defend the black community. And I think that uh, the only group that has done that thus far has been the Malcolm X Foundation in conjunction with the Black Panthers for self-defense was led by Huey P. Newton, who was at present in, uh, in uh, San Quentin up in uh, Oakland, California, along with Eldridge Cleaver, who is the Minister of Defense for the Black Panthers. So the Malcolm X Foundation is, has uh, noticed that everybody ethnically is moving, except black people. We're moving backward, as, and um, white people are moving forward. By that I mean white people are digging holes in the moon, and black people are in, in Washington, D.C. at Res Resurrection City. So we don't feel that in 1968 this is any sign of progress. In fact, it's retrogression, I believe the word is. So we, the Malcolm X Foundation, have began what we call the Malcolm X Montessori schools for black children, which start teaching children at two years old. Uh, they teach them mathematics, the arts, the scientists. And if you remember, it, these are the things that were taught back in, uh, in, in Ethiopia or in Africa back in the, in the early days, even far predating Christianity. This is the reason why black people at, at 13 years old were building pyramids. But now, in a, 2,000 years later, black people in, in, in California are making what they call Watts wallopers or baseball bats, while white people are making jet planes. See, so uh, this is the difference between the, the ethnic. So we have an ethnic responsibility to investigate. And in our investigation in the Malcolm X Foundation, we have found that the, the people in Italy who were in a ghetto situation an awful lot similar to ours, Maria Montessori, who, uh, in, who uh, devised the method of teaching, went into the ghetto and elevated the children of the ghetto to the degree that they became you know, leaders. Now, if and remember this, they brought the method to, to the United States, and it failed primarily because white people took it and made it a status symbol, and it cost basically $200 a month to send a child there. In the Malcolm X Foundation, we are raising $500,000 to, to take in a, a broad segment of black children from the ghetto, and the education will be free, along with their lunches and along with their sleeping programs. So we found out this program works. It is the only one that works, and everything that black people have had to date has failed. Christianity has failed. Religion has failed. Uh, if you want, uh, education has failed. Schooling has failed. So we find that in, in 1968, the training that the black people are getting in Roxbury is ready for 1968 instead of 1988. Now the programs we're teaching at two years old take the children from 1968 up until 1988 when white people admit that they'll be on the moon. But we won't even have civil rights if you follow the program that's laid by all other organizations that exist because they are under the, the European system, the Western system, which is, as you know, is white supremacy, as uh, evidenced by the, the Kerner report and uh, the president himself who admit that uh, the problem in America is white racism. So we try to deal with that. There's no school that I know that's dealing with that. Geography, history, mathematics, and uh, these foolishness does not deal with white racism. And that is our problem. So we in the Malcolm, Malcolm X Foundation do deal with the problem. So the Malcolm X Foundation realizes that this is the time for political sophistication, as well as ethnic sophistication, as well as ethnic responsibility. And we have tightened up, and uh, all groups, we've become black nationalists, under the, under the leadership and the tutelage and the programs as devised by Brother Malcolm X. The Black Panther Party is a national movement now. Well, I see black panthers everywhere. I, I arrived in Boston, Massachusetts, and I was met by a panther. When I was in, uh, when I was in Minnesota, I was met by some panthers. The, uh, the Black Panther Party functions primarily under two ethos. One is self-defense, and, and the other under, under the complete tutelage of Malcolm X. So they can. So they definitely, there are definitely a national movement, if not na international in scope, because every the world is screaming self-defense. China having the bomb to defend itself against the Western powers is a method of self-defense. And I think that you'll find that uh, Japan, which which tried to form their form of justice, having a history of the Opium Wars when the United States and England, all the white powers, attacked J China two times under the Opium Wars. They went to sell opium to China, and now the China is trying to get retribution only for the past. We, the, they teach black people that China is the aggressor, although uh, black people don't realize that, uh, uh, that the United States government uh, right now is, only, is bombing five minutes from China. What do you think would happen if, the United, if China bombed five minutes from the United States? So we, uh, the United States must be looked upon as the aggressor, and the only thing that stops aggressors are movements like the Malcolm X Foundation and all the Black Panthers for Self-Defense, because black people are the only people on the face of the universe 
who the law forbids to ex to uh, to ex exercise self-defense. This is the, the, no even an ant bites in self-defense. But black people are not taught to kill. We don't even know the word kill except thou shalt not. We have, we are not taught the word kill unless white people pick the person who we must kill. They said, "All right, kill Germans." Now you can't even kill a German because white folks said, "No, you can't kill anymore." Then they said, "Kill Japanese." They allowed you to kill them. Now they say, "Don't you can't kill no more." Now they tell you to kill the Vietnamese. You fight when the white man says fight, who he says fight, and when he says fight. Although the Constitution says that we are supposed to fight any enemy, foreign and domestic, that means crackers in the Mississippi. Georgia, Massachusetts, California, anywhere you find injustice, you're supposed to fight. And I'm not talking about with no Bible. I'm talking about with guns. It takes guns, brother. It doesn't take any love. It takes guns. When you pick up the gun, they'll lay it down. That's why in the West, it was the fastest draw. I, they don't have to put their guns down. Just beat me to the draw. Because if they draw on me, they're going to have to. Brown.